it's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got something special from the homie Ren today. It's a Nas retake. It's from the song Halftime. And I'm excited to dive into this. So this is off of the Illmatic album, which is one of his most classic albums. However, for some people that don't know, it actually dropped two years earlier in a movie called Zebrahead that had Michael Rappaport. I want to say that if I remember correctly, the movie was about like a, a white guy falling in love with a black girl. Because in 92, that was... It wasn't crazy, but it was it, it was not as, I guess, normalized as now. So, you know, they, they made movies around shit like that. But that's that's something that I don't feel like a lot of people realize. Now, one thing I want to say that I've said millions of times over already. I really like Illmatic. I do. But It Was Written was the better album. I get that it gets more respect because it was his first album. It was a big deal. It was groundbreaking in hip hop. But It Was Written was just better from front to back, in my opinion. It's the same with Jay-Z. Reasonable Doubt, extremely dope album. But I can't help but feel like In My Lifetime Volume 1 just was a better album. I also think Blueprint might even give it a run for its money. But I really did like Reasonable Doubt. I played that shit through so many times. I, like, I, I can't even... It, 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 I played that too many times, but I would still say in my lifetime volume one was good. So I feel like, I feel like the second album from a lot of these artists back then were, were the better album, but the first one is the one that gets most talked about. But anyways, let's dive in Ren halftime. Let's see what the homie was doing with this one. Right, this shit got right, me excited. Right. Let loose in the booth and I came to introduce the high proof juice like a flame in Sambuca. Half time, three point hoop, hallelujah. Views of them got and I severed on my jeweler. Cause rap without brand is like a skull without a brain, dude. Or like a thing I live with, no one to complain to. Fuck you without eyes. <laughs> Wait, what did he just say? I don't know, but I like that. He's like, yo, rap without Ren is like a skull without a brain, dude. Like, he even has that that older kind of sound to him, which I think fits so perfectly on this beat. You hallelujah, abuse of them got and a severed on my jeweler. Cause rap without Ren is like a skull without a brain, dude. Or like a thing I live with no one to complain to. Hockey without ice or China without rice. The Bible without Christ. Win the loo with no spice. Playing snakes and ladders with no dice. Day without night, like mine. Without an earlobe bite, I keep it tight. Left, right, fake, dodge. And evade an uppercut. Fuck them up in many various ways. The fairest gaze Woo! moving through precarious days. I just like the way that he built through that sequence. It wasn't like the craziest, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I rock with it. Like to me, to see, this is the thing. Some people like to really dive into like complex bars and I get it. Double, triple meanings, all that stuff is cool. But sometimes to me, it's really just about something very straightforward simple on the surface but it's the way it's delivered the way that you go through it the way the visuals kind of add to it it's, it's it's the overall package of just the feel of that moment so to speak and i feel like he gives us that over and over again by the way i do like this whole it's like china without rice like the bible without christ like this shit is kind of dope hockey without ice or china without rice the bible without christ vindaloo with no spice playing snakes and ladders with no dice day without night like mine without an earlobe bite i keep it tight left right fake dodge and evade an uppercut fuck them up in many various ways the fairest gaze moving through precarious days when we're moving through the bubble trouble there in my veins librarian brain pull up a barbarian slain performing like i'm global warming music making it rain i'm pimping my pain prostitute of all this insane put my problems on the paper and the sales will rain the sales will rise pyro with the patch on his eye get you hooked up on the music sailor i i i it's like a <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's dope. This I, I'm just it's just so fun to hear him over this beat. Now he said something about the whole you know global warming. I'm not gonna go into a whole conversation about that. I don't even know what I think about all that because I've not researched it a lot, but it just made me want to ask, because especially people that live in New York right now, is this not a crazy March in February? Like this is the warmest winter that I think I've ever experienced in my entire life. Like by far. Like, usually I complain about winter. I didn't complain about it this year. It wasn't really that bad. And then February and March are usually the months where we hit, like, the, the, the single digits, potentially even the negatives. And we're literally rocking with 60-plus degree weather. Like, this shit don't make no sense to me. I mean, I'll take it. I got no problem with it. But I, I, I just, when I see shit that's, like, that drastically different from what it normally is, I'm like, yo, something, <laughs> I feel like something's not right. Problems on the paper and the sales will rain. The sales will rise. Pyro with the patch on his eye. Get you hooked up on the music sailor. I, I, I. It's like rats to the music when I'm feeding them pie. That's pie rats can't relax on the wavy sky. Like, yo, rats bring the bubonic flow. Move the tectonic place when I step to the show. So cold. I know what couple. 
local people don't fuck with it. They can just suck on it, zip it, then go fast, bro. Meeny, meeny, miny. That was a necessary bar as well. They can suck on it. Listen, NY style, baby. That's just what you say. Someone disrespects you and you want to you wanna really disrespect them back, like some literally fighting words. It suck my dick. That's the shit. That's just what we say. That's why a lot of people that have watched me for a long time know that whenever I got upset with someone, I, SMD was the approach. It just I, it just comes out, right? Some people look at it as like, why would you tell another man to suck? Because it's disrespectful. That's why. And that's just, it's just it's a New York thing. I, I'm sure they say it other places, but it, that's 100% something we do on a regular basis. Thai raps can't relax on the wavy sky like yo. Raps bring the beat on the flow move the tectonic place when I step to the show so cold. I know a couple people don't fuck with it they can just suck on it zip it then go fast bro. Eeny meeny miny mo I'm shining like a diamond though when pressure makes a rhyming diamond this was by design you know when isotope a proton and a neutron in the nuclei and splits an atom in the fraction a reaction supersized me. Okay that shit was fire but I really like so it seems like a simple bar on the surface but he said that pressure makes a rhyme and diamond. And I think that that's extremely dope. And I don't know if he meant it to mean a couple of different things, but obviously pressure makes diamonds. That's just the more basic meaning of it. But pressure makes a rhyme and diamond. And I feel like the pressure that you put on yourself or the, the pressure that you feel to make something happen at times can elevate you to the next level, right? Like, and sometimes that, you know, it's it's pressure, fear, like whatever it is that you want to talk about, but you you run towards it. And you 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 basically step up to the occasion, so to speak. And so I like that. I feel like that kind of has a, a multiple play on it right there. Flow, the tech, but what he says afterwards, the way he just goes into that next sequence, dope. When I step to the show, so cold. I know a couple people don't fuck with it. They can just suck on it, zip it, then go fast, bro. Eeny, meeny, miny, <laughs> moe. I'm shining like a diamond, though. When pressure makes a rhyming diamond, this was by design, you know. When isotope, a proton, and a neutron in the nuclei, and splits an atom in the fraction, a reaction supersized me. And I supersize my order. Fries on the side, I'm a big whopping author. Big man, Ooh. rest in peace, big. Rest in peace, my Rest in peace, pop. Rest in peace, Pete. Rest in peace, Rob. We Okay, that was dope as well, because it was kind of a play on fast food. The Whopper, Big Mac, but Big Mac, like different people that had passed away within rap, and he's saying rest in peace to them. Like, that's, that was a dope little uh, sequence. I keep saying sequence. I don't know why that's my word today. I don't always say it, but it's like, I feel like every so often in reactions, I pick a word, and I just, I keep hammering that word home. But you know what I'm talking about. Proton and a neutron in the nuclei and splits an atom in the fraction, a reaction supersize me, and I supersize my order. Fries on the side, I'm a big whopping author. Big Mac, rest in peace, big. Rest in peace, Mac. Rest in peace, Pat. Rest in peace, Pete. Rest in peace, rap. We lose all the grace like that. So put respect up on their names while they still intact. That's why I rap up on this beat that was deep for Nas. I might never reach the level. I'll salute with bars. I'm coming to be in the DP. I'm gonna be in the Okay, I like that flow switch. I like that flow switch. And I do like how he's showing love to those that have passed, but he's also saying we have greats and legends that are still here, that are in this game. Like, show them love now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let them get their flowers now. And I think that that's a big thing in, in all aspects of life, whether it's it's music or otherwise or whatever genre of music. Give people their flowers. Show them love and respect. There's a lot of artists nowadays that, unfortunately, they don't seem to give a shit. They're like, oh, the legend, you know, F him. And, and it's like, bro, like, you're here doing music now because they did it back then. Like, that's what it seems like people don't seem to realize. They, they, they It's almost like they feel like, well, I would have still done it. Right. No, you, this shit may not even be what it is today if it wasn't for some of these people. So you got to you gotta show love, especially if you're in the game, but as a listener, too. Just, you know, a little bit of respect. Give, give it a chance. And, and, and it may not be for you because it's a little bit more old school, a little bit different style. But at least understand that this is what built what you like now. I might never reach the level. I'll salute with bars. I'm coming to be in the DP. I'm in here singing the bees knees. What a ridiculous MC. Sounds so ridiculous. Repeat. When I am spitting it properly, when the biology no one can follow me. But an anomaly, thick shit and quick whip makes girls wet and dick stiff. I'm so tongue and cheek with my tongue and your cheek. I never sleep. Cause death is the cousin of sleep. I never rest. Cause sleep is the cousin of death. So say breath. Stop the tape, press pause and eject. This was dope. That was dope. Shout out to Ren. I like that he's showing some love to an old classic Nas track. Like this is this is this is what I'm here for. And I, I don't feel like it happens enough. People people kind of forget about some of this old shit. And I feel like it's it's dope to see him go back and and do retakes on some of these to show love, to show respect. Rest in peace to certain art. Big Mac, like all. The, I, I I like that. Like that was that was fire. Shout out to Ren. That's that's my guy. Always gonna like to listen to what he has to put out. I I didn't get to it right away today because. I have, I have a new desk. Um, I don't know if anybody... I don't, you guys probably didn't see my last desk, but it's like, look how big it is. Look how much room I got to put shit. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. I needed more room so I can place things. And 
You know what I'm saying? And I, it took me way too long, way too long to put this together today, but we got it done. I'm happy about it. So now when I do other videos, like I can, like I can sit back a little bit more. I'm not like, yo guys, so we're doing a reaction today. Like I'm not, I'm not all up in the camera and I don't know how that's going to sound sound wise. That might've got really loud, but we here, baby. Shout out to Ren. Shout out to you guys. Let me know what you guys want to hear down below, what you thought about this, your favorite part, all of that stuff. I want to hear from you. I'm going to try to make it a point in 2024 to respond to as many comments as I can. Like I heart some and I read through them sometimes. I don't always respond and I feel like, you know what? I want to respond to as many as I can. So I'm going to try to put time aside every day to just scroll through all my comments and, and respond to any of you guys. So let me know about the song. Ask me questions. Whatever it is you guys want to say, put it down there in the comments and I will get to it. The haters, I will respond to you as well and I will pray for you. <laughs> but otherwise, <laughs> take it easy, stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homie.